All right, let's have a little fun heading to South Padre Island, Texas. I filled up with gas three times on the way down. It's a pretty long drive. And each fill up was $29. And then we went to this hot dog stand and it cost $34.15. So how much money did I spend? Right, to get started on this problem, I'm going to start by making a strip diagram. And it mentioned that I filled up three times and that each time was, there we go, three groups. Each time was $29. So I'm going to put 29 in each of these. The thing I love about strip diagrams is it just really helps us wrap our brain around what exactly we're supposed to do in the problem. And this picture really helps me to see that I've got three groups of 29. So that will help me out later when I start calculating it. Okay, and then we also had um, the hot dog stand and that was $34.15. That's more than these, so I'm going to make that section look a little bigger. Not a ton bigger, but a little bit. $34.15. Okay, and then the question asks, how much money did I spend on gas and hot dogs? So I want you to pause the video and see if you can calculate my total. And then we'll come back and check your work. Okay, so there's probably more than one way that everyone did this problem. I'm going to start out by thinking about this section right here. It is three groups of, three groups of 29. Now you might have done 29 plus 29 plus 29 and that's okay too. That's actually the same thing as doing a multiplication problem. It's just repeated addition. So same idea, just a little bit different than I'm going to do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to stack these up so that I can multiply. Okay, what is 9 times 3? And if you're not sure off the top of your head, you might have, when you added up 29 plus 29 plus 29, you did that same thing because you did 9 plus 9 plus 9. So let's see. We've got 9, 18, and then 27. Okay, great job. We're going to regroup that too because that belongs over here with the 10 since it's 27. Okay, now we're going to do 2 times 3. What is 2 times 3? Okay, great. 6 plus that extra 2 that we regrouped, 8. Okay, so that means my gas cost $87. And I am going to erase my work and then just put 87. Okay, and then what can I do with the hot dog? money. So my gas cost $87 and then the hot dog money was $34.15. So what do I do with these two amounts? Okay, you got it. Probably the strip diagram helps you see that we really want a total, right? We want to know what all of this together equals. So I'm going to add the hot dog cost. Okay, now one thing to keep in mind is that one of these numbers, this could be a little tricky, because one of these numbers is just a whole number, no decimal, no decimal places, and the other number does have a decimal. So how am I going to add those up? Let me see what you think about this. Can I do it like this? $34.15 plus 
87. Is that okay? Okay, hopefully you noticed that if I put the 87 here, that looks like it's 87 cents. And we know that the gas is way more expensive than that. It was $87. So where can I move that to represent dollars? Oh, awesome. If I move it over to the whole number area, 87. Now, is there something I can do here to make it look a little uh, more normal or more, um, you know, able to be stacked up? Okay, some of you have noticed when you're out shopping, if something is just you know, a whole dollar amount, you might see it like this. $87 with zeros there because there's no change. Now we can add. So five plus zero, one plus zero, those were easy. I bring my decimal point straight down when I'm adding or subtracting. What is four plus seven? Good, 11. And eight plus three? Also, 11 plus that extra one is 12. Okay, so I can say that I spent on the total of gas and hot dogs, I spent $121.15. So if I was making adding to this strip diagram, here's my total at the top. All right, great work. All right, here we are at Sea Turtle Inc. South Padre Island. So earlier in the month, they had 223 sea turtles that were rehabilitated. And they released 15 sea turtles who were ready to go back to the ocean. Yay! The remaining turtles, they separated into eight different zones at the facility. So how many turtles did they put in each zone? Can you help me figure this out? Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. We, we know that there's 223 sea turtles and they release 15 of them. And then with the turtles that are left over, they're going to separate them into eight zones at their facility. So the one thing I like to ask myself before I get started on making a strip diagram is, do I know the total? Okay, yes, we do. There are 223 sea turtles to start out with. So I'm going to make a big rectangle here. Okay, and there's a few things going on. So this is gonna be a little bit more complicated, but I still like making a strip diagram to kind of start thinking through some stuff. So how many turtles did they release? Okay, 15. And if they're releasing 15 turtles, what does that sound like to you? What operation does that sound like if they're letting go of 15 turtles? Okay, subtraction. And we know that when we subtract, we can represent that amount as part of the total, right? We have 223, we're going to get rid of 15, and we're going to have something left, right? We're going to have some t sea turtles left. So why don't you pause the video, figure out how many sea turtles are left, then we'll get back together and check your work. Okay, so let's check your work. When I start subtracting, I'm gonna start with the ones place and I already see a problem. We have three turtles right here. We're trying to take away five. We don't have enough to take away five, so I'm gonna regroup. Remember that we can take a 10 and break it up into 10 ones. So that's gonna be 13. Okay, what is 13 minus five? Awesome, eight. One minus one, yep, is zero. Two minus nothing 
is two. So that means we have 208 turtles remaining to split up into the eight zones. Okay, so now we have to figure out how to represent that in this strip diagram. How can we separate that amount into eight zones? Okay, some of you are probably thinking, well, we can take this part of the strip and separate it into eight parts. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I want four parts over here, four parts or zones over here. So I can go like that, and there's gonna be four over here. Okay, now it looks like those 208 turtles split up into eight parts. Okay, and I'm gonna just go ahead and copy down. Here's those 15 turtles that we released. Okay, so now what problem does that sound like? What operation does that sound like? If I've, if I've got 208 turtles, I'm gonna separate them into eight zones and I wanna know what each zone is gonna be. Okay, awesome. We are gonna be dividing those 208 turtles by eight. So why don't you pause the video, see if you can figure that out, and then we'll come back and check your work. Okay, so I'm going to start by showing equal groups with some base 10 drawings. Now you might have your favorite way of division that's not drawing equal groups. And so you're, you know, you can check your work with mine, but check it with your own strategy. See if, see if you can find any sort of thing in common that I'm doing. And also, I should mention that if you were feeling frustrated with, oh, I don't know how to divide that those turtles into the eight zones, you can always go back and watch uh, some of my division videos that I really go over different strategies. Okay, so now when I'm thinking about 208 and I'm trying to separate it into groups, I think about it, I'm going to draw a little bit down here. I think about it like base 10 blocks. So I've got 200, which is like two flats, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. I don't have any longs, I don't have any tens. Um, so now I think about how, okay, start with the biggest. Do I have enough flats to put one in each group? Because we have to do a fair share. Okay, no, we don't. So we are gonna need to make a trade or break these up into smaller pieces so that I can start putting them in groups. Let's try this. If I broke these up into longs, how many longs make up a flat? How many tens make up a 100? Oh, you're right, 10. So I'm going to draw that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many tens make up this flat? You're right, ten more. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now, how many longs do I have total? Okay, twenty. And I can, I have enough now. I can start putting them in the eight groups. That'll work, and that goes faster than putting dots, only dots in. So I like doing base 10 block drawings because it goes faster. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I can kind of just start crossing them out as I use them. I used eight, right? I still have these two and the 10, so I have 12 left. Do I have enough to give another long? Yes, I do. Okay, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so I've used all 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, it looks like I've got 4 left. 
Is that enough to put in all the groups? Ooh, no, it's not. I only have four, so now I need to break those up even smaller. How many, the, the smaller amount that we have are these little ones. How many ones can I make with these four tens? Okay, you're right, 40. So I am going to start doing that. I'll do groups of 10 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then I'm going to do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay. So now I can start putting all of these dots into the groups. I have plenty that, uh, you know, I can equally give each group one and probably quite a bit. So let's see. I've got 48. So let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, I'm almost there, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48, awesome. So I could equally share all of those, that's great. So I have no leftovers, no remainder. And how many turtles can I put in each group? So take a minute to look at one group and see what you think. Count that up. All right, so 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, it looks like I can put 26 turtles in each zone at the facility. Okay, great work. I hope this helps you in math class at home. Bye.